Hello everyone, hope you're all well. I'm here today to film a haul video. I feel like I haven't filmed a haul video in so long and I just miss sitting down, speaking for like half an hour, 40 minutes and then showing you guys what I've bought. I feel like I'm in this weird transition thing where I just have so many work clothes, like I have a lot, a lot of blazers, shirts, etc. But I have no like going out and day clothes. This is kind of gonna encompass that. There are still a few work pieces because I mainly do work and I need work clothes, but I have a lot of kind of daytime and also a few nighttime pieces, a couple of shoes and a couple of bags as well. It's basically all Zara and Topshop. I was waiting for a misguided order, but it didn't come in time. And this is my only other day off and I've already like put off the filming this video so I'm just gonna go on and film it. I had so many like delivery issues with my parcels. I also don't know if I'm gonna keep everything so when I try on you might still see the tags because I'm not sure what I'm gonna keep but you guys will let, have to let me know down below what you think I should keep from this video and what essentially looks good on me because I know you guys always tell me. So I'm gonna start off with bags and now you guys know I do like to invest in my bags but when it's like a trend bag, like a trend piece, I feel like I like getting it from the high street and I'm not like completely opposed to wearing high street bags. So I saw one of these two in Topshop. Topshop has great bags and I fell in love with them. Unfortunately, one of them, they left the like security tag on it and I'm kind of peed off about that. So I'm gonna have to go back to the shop and get it taken off. It looks like someone's already been at this, which is quite scary. Really good thing about it is that the straps are adjustable. So I like them quite short so that they're quite, it's quite close to your body. I don't really like backpacks that fall down too much. But I just actually thought this looks really cute and like almost like something my mum would have worn in the 80s and stuff. There's another thing, it was only 19 pounds. So if you're looking for a backpack for like a festival or for a holiday or whatever, I just think that's really, really cute and very inexpensive for something that I think is a bit of a trend piece. I saw this, sorry, I'm gonna be playing with my hair as well throughout this video because I'm so not used to having it out and it's like really weird for me to have it out. I actually think I really need it dially cut. Anyway, I also thought this bag was so cool and like I said, like a, a super trend piece, but I loved it and I actually really like it. Like, I don't even know. I think it was gonna be one of the things I keep. And it's another bag from Topshop and this was a bit more expensive, it's 35 pounds, but it's this fur bag. Now, how cool is this? It's got one of those D-ring, well, it's not a D-ring, it's actually a full ring um, on it, which is really on trend. And then it's just a fluffy, like, hobo style bag. But even like, if, like for example, with my outfit now, like with a white shirt and then just this, it's one of those bags that you can just fling all your stuff in. It doesn't even have a closure or anything. But I just thought it was really cool and just, like I said, like a trend piece, which, I sometimes like adding to my outfits, so the inside is just literally like a, it's actually a bit of a sparkly pit. And I really liked this, like, I think if I'd gone to uni, I would so have something like this, like, I just think it's really cool, because you can definitely fit A4 in it. So, um, yeah, I don't know, let me know what you guys think, if I'm crazy or whatever. I might start off with Zara and then move on to the Topshop things. I didn't really score that much in the Zara sale, I'm not a big, I'm not that big of a sales person, to be honest. I like. I would love to be, but I'm kind of not. And I also didn't think their online sale this year was that fantastic. What I normally do in their sales is look at the bottom and look at all the shoes and bags and normally like jackets. Those are kind of the things that I look at in their sales. And I did score in that department. This is gonna be a lot of me like leaning down because all my clothes, all my clothes are on the floor. And I scored this and I've been looking at these for ages, but I didn't kind of want to spend as much money on them as they were. Um, and this wasn't actually the one that I really wanted, but I actually have fallen in love with it. And it's this this, what would you call this like tweed style jacket like the Chanel esque ones and I am in love with this I've worn this so much so if you guys watched my last video on buying a property at 23 I was wearing that t-shirt and I've worn it so much with this top I should have included that top in this haul as well but it's in the wash so sorry because I wear it all the time and I have worn this with that so much and it's just the cutest little jacket like even with my outfit right now like I said with just like a white shirt it's what I actually normally wear to work so I love pairing this with either work trousers or my favorite way to wear it is with high-waisted jeans and like a cute t-shirt and it's just really really fun and I love the colors in it I've got some threading as well in like a silvery gold color 
and Zara does so many of these so if I do find similar ones I shall link them down below but I think that particular one is out of stock now. Another thing that I did manage to grab in the sale because like I said I always look at the shoes and I wanted to keep these pristine because I wanted to show you to them to you guys when they're clean and I managed to score these gorgeous Zara slingbacks and they're like a midi, I wouldn't say they're a kitten heel, they're like a mid kitten heel so um, I'm not normally a fan of kitten heels, I don't think they do a lot of my for my legs but these are £59, they're real leather and I got them for 20 like 19 99 I'm in love with them and I love the white shoe trend, i like literally obsessed with it and yeah, I thought these were like one of my main major bargains. I got these and I don't know if I'm going to keep them because I just feel like here in the UK the weather has just gone like this. I don't know, you guys have to let me know down below but I really like them, like I'm in love with them actually, I don't like them. And it's these, they are sliders from Zara. Now what would you describe them as? They're like pearl tweed sliders like every single trend you can think of in one I feel like and I just love them I just think they're so fun and they actually like are so cool on I just love them they were about 40 pounds though which is not cheap and that's kind of why I'm like oh, I don't know they're definitely a trend piece like I don't think I would wear these again next year but I don't know let me know what you guys think if I have to have them in my life because I kind of at the moment feel like I do but I don't feel like I have enough days, you know, to like, I'm very cost per wear at the moment. Have you guys noticed that in this video? Like, I'm trying to get my most at wear out of my clothes because I don't want to have loads of clothes in these wardrobes. Although I have very many, I, I really don't. So let me know what you think and whether or not I should keep them. I'm so uber fake tanned. I hope the white is actually showing up how fake tanned I am because I really wanted a tan today. I always feel better when I have a tan on. This is another top that I thought I would show you guys because it's the cutest thing ever and it's another Zara number which I actually wore in my updates video on my flat and it's this, I will try and insert like a, a thing for me, of me wearing it and it's this really cute like wrap around top with the most gorgeous design like I want a wallpaper in this design it's so pretty I still have those annoying things on it which I hate um, but it's literally just a little wrap around top and yes I was fiddling with it throughout the whole video and yes I did annoy myself too when I was editing it but it's so worth it and I'm really looking forward to wearing this like I'd wear this more on a night out with like jeans but not like a more of a you know like a casual night out night out so I'm a bit hyper I think it's because I haven't eaten since this morning which probably isn't a good idea but my eating patterns are horrendous so if you work in pharmacy you know the drill so um, yeah, just really sweet and I think it was really inexpensive as well. The sleeves on it are really pretty as well, I forgot to show you guys. The sleeves are like, they are thin and then they go into like a, a little billowing sleeve, which is really pretty. And you guys know I'm not a huge skirts, dresses type girl. I'm, if you like want to take me on a night out, give me a pair of trousers and I'll be like happy as Larry, dancing all night long, um, as opposed to if I wear a dress or a skirt, I'm kind of just there like fussing with it. So as soon as I saw these, I was like so up my street and they fit like a glove. I thought they looked quite small when I first got them, but they're that kind of stretchy material as well, so they fit really well. And it's just these black, again, trousers, but look at <laughs> this. They have tassels going all the way along the side of the trouser and also along the front just here on the pockets. I would wear this on a night out in a heartbeat and next night out I will swear I will probably wear these so probably start uh, watching my snapchat. This is the kind of thing that I would get a bit merry in and then get really funny with and like dance around in. So um, for £30 they're just a really cute thing to have in your wardrobe and um, even for like dinners and stuff although I have had more tassely things from Zara in the past and the tassels do tend to fall although these look quite well sewn on but the tassels on these kind of things do tend to fall and then you see them like trailing along like a restaurant floor. Whereas if you're in a club, I think it's a bit more concealed. This is something I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep because, uh, I don't know if it's pushing the boundary on like suit. It, I don't know if it's smart enough is what I'm trying to say. Like I don't think the trousers are smart enough, but I'm obsessed with the colour of this blazer. So I might just end up keeping the blazer and just um, giving the trousers back. But as soon as I saw this on Zara, I was like, I have to have this because this is like my favourite colour. It's this green suit blazer. And it's in this kind of suede-y, I don't know, what kind of material is this? I, it's not really suede, but it's kind of like, it's got a texture to it. Um, even on the tag of the Zara blazer, it says casual suit. I think it's a little bit too casual for me when I tried it on. So like I said, I might return the trousers. 
but I'm obsessed with this kind of thing. Again, like perfect with even my outfit today. Just really, really like, I, I would almost call this like safari chic. I don't know why, but I love that kind of look, like these greens and stuff. Um, it's so my kind of thing and I would love that kind of thing also just paired with some jeans but I do love a suit um, and definitely love a good blazer or suit jacket that's like my thing like I said I'm a blazer w-h-o-r-e so I always whenever I see one that I like I sort of nab it up and I got this one from Zara and it's a gorgeous I love like especially like a few years ago I used to love collarless blazers so blazers without the collar funnily enough and this is exactly that the only thing is I'm not great f greatly fond of this material that kind of creppy material I just find it's a bit I don't know I don't know it's not my favorite so I'm still thinking of whether or not to keep this one I'm not so sure um, I got this in a size small I also don't know if the fit is great I almost feel like I need a between of a small and a medium so watch this space on whether I keep it and obviously do let me know if you guys think I should these I'm obsessed with but again I don't know if it's gonna be one of those things where I'm like I will legit wear it once and it's a trend item and then I'll never look at it or wear it again it's a pair of trousers and it's that trend of like a sporty look and with the poppers so they do actually legit pop open I swear I did this the other day okay do you not pop open anymore of course they do there we go maybe we need to start at the bottom so it does pop open I don't know it's they're 60 pounds because I think they're from like the more premium Zara range um yeah 60 pounds I don't know whether or not I would wear it and I definitely don't think I would be brave enough to wear it with all the poppers open it's just not my thing but I do really really like them and they're that kind of like really baggy but really chic kind of feel so again let me know what you guys think I I think I'm more drawn to the the trousers with the little what are they called tassels as opposed to these and those were like half the price as well so let me know what you guys think down below I'm a sucker for denim jackets and I saw this on the Zara website and the model looked really cool in it and I just don't know if I'm a bit too I don't know why I feel like on anyone who knows me will know like I'm 24 going on 34 there are certain things that I probably shouldn't be wearing that I do wear I don't know what do you guys think um yeah I don't know I'm I feel like especially maybe since I started working I feel like I get less brave with fashion this is a really beat up style denim jacket it has two separate washes of denim or maybe even three which I really like so it's like a almost deconstructed look it's got some fraying on the sides here and it's got loads of just distressing it's even got like a little hole um like rip at the back and I don't know I don't know you guys will have to tell me um Again, I think it would look really nice to the outfit that I've got on now um, and a pair of Levi's. I do like doing double le denim. It doesn't offend me, but if you guys aren't into it, that's totally cool. And this was, again, that's why another reason why I'm like, oh, I don't know. And it says real on it. Why is it real? Real what? Vintage. Okay. Okay. New vintage. Real. Okay. So it's £50 and I have a few denim jackets that I'm really in love with. So I don't know whether or not I actually direly need this. So... Please let me know down below what you all think. I fell in love with this. I love to wear this on summer holidays when I next go on one. It's this gorgeous crochet little top from Zara. I have worn this to work with a white shirt um, under it and then a blazer over it and a kind of like textured look and also just makes it a little bit more interesting. And it's also a little bit boho, which I'm so into that and I never feel like I can pull it off and it's just the cutest thing I think they were doing like a jumper version of this as well but I just got the top and then my last Zara piece which I don't know if again I'm gonna keep because I don't know if I love the jacket and it was kind of like the whole look I was going for I got this skirt from Zara and it's a Czech little mini skirt I feel like I would have worn this when I was like obviously not like really short but I would have worn like things like this when I was like 12 um, and my mum used to love putting me in like really kitsch preppy things like this and it's just really sweet um, and the reason I mainly got it I love the material of it as well I just don't know if I'm brave enough to wear this actually like out out um, and I got it because I wanted to wear it with this but this is very heavy like I almost got these to go together to wear like to a club 
but I think if I wore this jacket to a club, people would be like, why is she not taking her jacket off? And I think I would, I would legit think, why is she not taking her jacket off about myself? It's just this oversized menzy style blazer with a really low stitch, what's this, sleeve bit. <laughs> so it's like a drop, a drop hair, um, I don't know, like a drop thing for this bit. You guys know what I mean. I'm not into, I don't, I don't work for fashion. But um, the sleeves are also quite like big as well. So I definitely don't think I could wear this for work because I don't feel like I work, I move a lot at work and I don't feel like I could move around in it a lot. But I love the sort of houndstooth check print that it has. And I thought them two together would be really like clueless cute. But I think I look a bit stupid. Now we move on to the Topshop things. And Topshop for me has been killing it at the moment. I'm really into Topshop at the moment. And the only thing that I haven't managed to get right is the sizing. So at the moment with Topshop, I'm, I'm going with go down your size that you think you are. Because a lot of their clothes are like, it's quite stretchy and just, I don't know, they're not fitting me right. I really wanted something like this that I can throw on, like with a leather jacket. Um, I'm just doing it up. A leather jacket or... I don't know, like a nice jumper or a denim jacket and it will look really nice. So I got this jumpsuit and it's from Topshop and it looks something like this. I love this little style at the front. It's that kind of creppy material but it actually hasn't gone all creasy and like I said, I have worn it. And the best thing about it is it's got pockets, which for me just pockets make everything. This I got and I've got so much wear out of it, it's ridiculous, but it has like so much fake tan or slash foundation on it that my trouble because I wear like white shirts especially every day for work pretty much is honestly fake tan and foundation I blend foundation down my neck so foundation just gets on everything it doesn't matter how long I've worn it for I will have foundation all over my shirt by the end of the day if you have those kind of struggles let me know down below I love this jumper it's the cutest thing and again this was in my quest of like nice casual wear that isn't like just a t-shirt and it's this Reebok classic um, sweatshirt. It's not that soft material so I have like got away with wearing it now when it's been a bit warm and I've worn it when I'm hung over. Um, food shopping, I've worn it, you name it, I've worn it and like I said if I get very close to you guys you will see the foundation mark so I won't. But I love the colours of it as well. It's like a, a white off-white colour and I love the Reebok very very retro colours on it. I just thought they're really nice and come on. White just makes my tan pop, doesn't it? So I just thought that was really nice and casual and I love wearing it with my backpack, my Louis Vuitton backpack. This is something that I don't know if I'm gonna keep just because I don't know if like my, I feel like my chest size sometimes doesn't help with the, some of the things that I pick and like try and wear. So I don't know if this is as flattering on someone who's as big chested as me. But I really like this and I love, like I said, denim is my favourite thing ever for summer especially, which is weird because you get hot, but I like it anyway. And it's this denim jumpsuit and it has a cutout at the front, so it's just got like a, a bit where you would show your stomach, which I don't really mind. And then the front crosses over like that in like a little bow, which is probably the area that I don't find as flattering on me because I am slightly bigger chested. And then the back is just a plain denim and I love the wash of it as well. It has pockets, which just scores like 80 million brownie points with me. The pockets are just here at the front. And then it kind of goes down to that same kind of style that all the other trousers have gone into, wide leg. And again, I definitely, definitely could have gone down a size in this, but I don't know if it would have been too tight. So that's why when I ordered online, because I do make, I actually prefer shopping on Topshop online as opposed to in store. When I go into store, I don't find a lot. This is definitely something that I personally would wear with a t-shirt under it. I don't know if I would go bare, but again, let me know what you all think down below. You guys know I haven't really gone too crazy into the off the shoulder trend this year. I loved this dress and again, I don't know whether I'm going to keep it because I don't know if I've got the the balls basically to wear it. But it's a gorgeous, um, I love stripes, you guys know stripe shirt little off the shoulder dress with this lovely collar detail and then what I love about it is the arms are like a bit thicker um like wider and it just gives it like a more casual look and then it just goes down into like a dress look and I'm so into this because it looks like a genuine shirt that you've just kind of deconstructed um and it's like a little bit of a pinky like a pinky creamy color which is really nice with black or navy 
I'm colorblind stripes. Then lastly, but by no means leastly from Topshop, these are a pair of trousers that I think if I put on at even like a pound or even a kilo, they would not fit anymore, but I love them. And it's this crop flare style trouser. And then they go into like a crop flare and the best thing about it is this detail, which I've seen everywhere at the moment. And they've got this like, I'm not even gonna go into trying to describe what this is, but it's like a bit of a detail at the front and then they open up when you're walking and they are a crop, crop flare. I feel like I could get away with wearing these at work because they are just basically a pair of black trousers, but they're very, very tight. They fit my waist perfectly. So like I said, if I put on even like a kilo or a pound, I'm very bad at conversions. Yes, I'm a pharmacist, but I, I'm bad at it. I'm obsessed with these. I did get these in an eight. I didn't think they would fit, but they just, just fit. And these are 39 pounds, but they're so chic. Like. I love this trend, I think it's really, really nice and it's definitely something I would wear out to dinner when I wasn't going to be planning to eat a lot of pasta or anything. So that's the end of the video you guys, I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, like I said, some feedback about what you guys liked in regards to hauls, what you're into. If you are into this style of video, please like my video down below. I know I'm not really normally one of those people that says please like, subscribe, etc. But it obviously does help me out, so let me know down below and it lets me know about whether I get good feedback or not so great feedback. I love you guys lots, take care of yourselves and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye!